Under the roof here in New Orleans, the fans are ready for this NFC versus AFC matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the New Orleans Saints. AFC versus NFC as kickoff fast approaches, Phil. Well, we have two teams that don't know each other very well. And when you don't know each other very well, you play cautious. And when you play cautious, you don't play as well as you should. So it should be a high-scoring game. He's got a chance to return this one. This big return's going to set up his team in excellent field position. Well, a lot of good things happened on both sides of the football this time. How about that return by the return team? Good job, good blocking. Look at the speed of that guy running. They get the tackle from behind. They stop the touchdown. Rams, a receiver in the slot. First and 10, Spillers got it on the handoff. I know they want to come out and establish the run, but boy, this defense right now is not bending. Uh, they're doing a good job so far, the defense, but on the offensive side, stay patient, keep pounding that football, and hopefully you can wear this defense down as the game goes along. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Picks up five. That's a nice run that time by the offense, picking up those yards. And any time you gain more than three yards on a running play in the National Football League, it is deemed successful. Doug Marone now comes into the league from Syracuse as a head coach of the Buffalo Bills. He had great success at Syracuse University. And what I like about Doug Marone, an offensive coach, coached offensive lines, been in the NFL, so he knows what it takes to win in the NFL. And of the experience he got as being a head coach of Syracuse, I think this is a good combination and a good pick by the Buffalo Bills. It's going to be fun to watch to see how Doug Marone does up there this year. to move the chains after that last run. The throw to the left. The Bills get a first down, and he's brought to the ground. Well, when you're playing this cover three defense where three defenders are playing deep, that's great. You stop the deep passes, but who's going to stop the quick ones? Well, nobody. That's why the quarterback and the receivers are having really good success throwing these slant patterns. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. have second down. Let's run, let's run. Looking to the right side and throwing. The ball's deflected and complete. Oh, that's a nice play that time by the defense. The offense is inside your red zone. You've got to stop them from scoring. That was a good job of swatting the football away. Play number six coming up on this drive. Manuel's turning to look downfield. In his hands, complete touchdown. Terrible job that time by the defense. Third and goal, they're expecting pass, and they still can't stop it. This defense is just not fast enough to stop those touchdown passes. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. made. The offense will start their drive from about the 31. Oh 
First down here. Midway through the first. Sproles. And they're going to run it right. Good job by the safety, diagnosing the run, getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. The pass is intercepted. That brings the play to an end. Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. Rams lined up in the slot. First and ten. Under pressure and incomplete. down following that incompletion. They go draw. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded after that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Graham's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Play action fake. Throws to the right. With two hands, he has it. That'll stop the play right there. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Offense lines up here. A second down and one. They tackle him for a loss. That time, I got to blame the running back. Uh, he made a bad read. His vision was terrible. He makes the wrong decision, and it costs his team yards lost. Just a quick drop back. In trouble now. Five, maybe six out of that. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Bills are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. They face first down. Jackson's taking the handoff. A tackle behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down now. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Graham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Slashes to the left side. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. See what they do on this third down situation. Setting up a little screen. Ball is caught. Breaks the plane, and he's got the touchdown. Well, you got a lead. You drive down the field. You score a touchdown. Now we're going to find out if the other team can stay patient or will they panic. Bills ready to boot this one down the field. And 
and they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. First down, he'll fire it out to the left. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. Mike 50. Moore in the slot. The wide receiver in motion, working that left side. And intercepted! He's brought to a halt. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Offense lines up here. Manuel standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Should have had it. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Second attempt, C.J. Spiller. Dan picks up up out three. Got to stay patient with the run game. That's what the offense is doing here. Even though they haven't had any big games yet, there's a little short game that time, but you're hoping to break one sooner or later. How did he do that? Sometimes the receiver just has to make a great catch. That's what happened on that play. Graham's a receiver in the slot. Manuel still has it after some nifty play action. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. Sproles is in the backfield, looking for an open receiver on the right. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Moore's lined up in the slot. Breeze hits Lance Moore with that pass. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. Good job of the offense. They're in the red zone. They're down by more than seven. But the defense, can you stop them and just give up the field goal try? Moore's lined up now as a slot receiver. Breeze gets it over to Darren Sproles. Well, when you get this close, it'd be nice to punch it in there and score. Even though you're still going to be behind, execute the play and get it done. Second down here. He's looking to the right. A takeaway. He's into the open. He's in for the touchdown. Well on defense. To make a play like this, so much of it is about timing. Perfect timing by the defensive player. He gets the interception and runs it all the way back for a touchdown. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Tosses it to the running back. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. And 
and they're all over him at the 18-yard line. Moore's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and 10. Looks to his left. Reaches out and grabs it. Brought down. Picks up the first as he's tackled at the 30. Probably the easiest throw for a quarterback to make in the NFL is the curl route because you can see the receiver. His body is square to you. Drilled in. That ball is picked off. He's got a little bit of daylight here. They've got him down there. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Graham's in the slot. First and ten. Screen sticks to his hands. Spins away from contact. Gains 13. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room. So you got to really drive the football in there. That reception gave them the first down. C.J. Spiller. The blowout continues. Another touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop us. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. The Bills getting set now for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. Dan Carpenter readying his team for the kickoff. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. Takes the stab from the shotgun. Dangerous pass into double coverage. Good job that time by the secondary. They're in good position. They make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. Coming up, second down. Breeze in shotgun formation. Perfectly thrown. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. They all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. Here's the first snap after the big play. Eyeing that left side. Jumps high into the sky and has it. Two minute warning. That was a nice curl route by the wide receiver. In the old days, they used to call that the button hook. Moore's a receiver in the slot. Trying to work that left side, bringing the play to an end. Perfect defense call that time. They allow the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. This play set up by the long gainer. He'll fire it out to the left. The pass complete. When he plays zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. Throwing now to his left. Saints in for the score. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver. But the receiver, big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff.
tackle right at about the 28-yard line. The Saints with a nickel look here on defense. First and ten. Got a little screen set up here. Nice tackle. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Johnson lined up in the slot. They'll call on the services of C.J. Spiller. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. Spiller's lined up as the single back. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The Bills now move the chains. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Johnson's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. The throw to the left. Chandler's there with the sure hands to pull in the rocket pass. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. And he's almost intercepted. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field. So the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. Going to get set in the slot for this snap. He had it, but the hit jars the ball loose. Well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Rams in the slot. Here it's a third and ten. Manuel's got the football. At Penny, Vaccaro is there and makes the play. I have to say that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Moore's a receiver in the slot. First and ten, he'll fire it out to the left. Incomplete. Well, Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. One more snap, and we'll head to halftime. The quarterback motions the wide receiver, working that left side. Forgot to catch the football. So that's going to do it for the first half. Bills are up in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Bills lead by 20. Danielle Bellini is there with the latest from the sidelines. Hey, guys, I spoke with DJ Manuel at halftime. So far, his team is out in front, and he told me the important thing now is playing smart. If they can control play and just avoid costly mistakes, they'll be in good shape in the second half. That's all from down here, guys.
to you. Thanks, Danielle. And now we'll go to the field. First down, offense ready for the snap. Breeze gets it over to Darren Scrolls. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up, and when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. That leads us to second down. A lot of zip on this throw, and Graham brings it in. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. First down, following the long play. Oh, almost caught. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Moore's lined up in the slot. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. Ball slipped out of his hands. All you have to do is watch the head of the receiver. When they drop footballs, usually it's because you can see their head move the other way before the football gets there. That's what happened this time, and it's a drop pass. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Breeze hits Lance Moore with that pass. That time, the pass is completed into double coverage, Jim, but the quarterback made a bad read. But these receivers, they are so good nowadays. That time, in double coverage, he went up and made the catch. It's like Bill Parcell said to me once about Mark Bavaro, a very talented receiver. He goes, remember, Sims, when he's covered, he's open. Sproles is in the backfield, looking to the right side and throwing. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. You talk about controlling the flow of the game. Another first down, and the drive keeps on going. Yeah, why not? The defense, they're just sitting over there. They're taking the hits and not even fighting back. Ah, this is a terrible job by the defense. Kill, kill, kill. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Darren Sproles makes the catch. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. He'll throw it over the middle, and that's enough for a first down. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. This long drive continues. First and goal. Throws to the right. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Anytime your team is down, you're inside the other team's red zone, you look for one of your star players, your quarterback, wide receiver, or running back. They need to make a big play here. Offense heading to the line for the 11th play of the drive. And he's intercepted. The tackle is made. <laughs> C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Spiller's handed the football.
Graham's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second down and eight. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. First down here after the run. On first down, it's back to the ground game. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Second down coming up. Staying on the ground. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Well, that time, the defense gets a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. Third and nine. They're setting up screen. They deck him in the backfield. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Got it in the gun. The Bills get a first down. He's brought down. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First down and ten. C.J. Spiller, and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Nothing like to draw a play. Get those defensive ends rushing up the field to hit the quarterback. Boom, you hand the football off. Big running lanes. That's why it works so well. Welcome back. Not quite as riveting as many expected coming into this one. Graham's going to get set in the slot for this snap. The final quarter begins with this snap. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block. And then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play? Play after play after play here on this drive. Second down and five. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Bills now move the chains. When you can't hit the quarterback or put pressure on him, there's not much you're going to get done then. That time, the quarterback had time and throws it down the field for another completion. This has been a long drive so far. First and ten. Looks to his left. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Nice job that time by the wide receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it.
What a drive this has been. Drop back, shotgun formation. Going for the deep ball. Has it. Touchdown. This offense, they are so aggressive. I love them, man. Even though they had the lead, they kept pressing the issue, and they got another touchdown to increase that lead. The Bills lined up now for the point after. And the point after is good. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First and 10. The quarterback will hand it off. Spinning out of trouble. He stacked up at that point. Outside linebackers are just, they, they really are great athletes. They got size and they can really run. That was a good job by the outside linebacker there that time. Stopping the outside run for a little game. Second and 11. To Jimmy Graham in the secondary. He has the ball deep down the field. These big receivers in the NFL now, they can get down the field and just give them a chance. That's what the quarterback did. Nice catch by the receiver. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Looking across the middle, has the reception all alone. Well, Jim, I always say it's about reception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. They bring him to the turf. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Second down. They'll run it off the toss. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football to snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle. Good job that time by the defense. They stop them short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. Offense lines up here. Eyeing that left side. Touchdown, New Orleans. This is why a head coach gets paid so much money. You get in situations like this, they have to make the call on fourth and goal. He goes for it, and they get it. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. They failed to convert on the two-point try, so they'll just have to settle for the six. Saints ready here for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Chandler's got it on a pass that had some heat. The quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the game. Oh, 
C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. First and ten. Launching it deep. And it's incomplete. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Quarters formation here for the defense. Wasting no time. Here's the toss to the outside. Twists away from the hit. You know, when the linebackers, when they see that the offensive formation is shifted to one side, well, as a linebacker, you've got to play to that strong side and try to get up there and stop the run. Lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Heaving it down the field. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. That catch, good for a first down. Oh, we got us a nice drive going here, Jim. Another first down. They are just making one solid play after another and just marching down the field. C.J. Spiller is in the backfield. First and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. Pressuring the quarterback. That's what you love to do in the NFL from the defensive side. That time they blitz. It was quick. It was fast. And they get a sack on the quarterback. Play number six coming up on this drive. Looking to scramble. The defense gets another sack. Well, the quarterback's got to see this blitz when it's coming. And if he checks to an audible to get rid of the football quicker or give himself extra protection, that will help him a lot. Spillers lined up in a single back formation. Going for the home run. Good job by the defense. They are all over the throw by the quarterback. They almost pick it off in the end zone. Well, that's a big opportunity missed when you drop a pass like that. Receivers stacked up on this play. Man, you got to be smarter than that. You can't go for it every single time on fourth and long. There is a thing they have in the NFL. It's called a punt. Do it more often. First down here. Right where it had to be. How do you stop these receivers now? It's almost impossible with the rules of the game. Uh, tight coverage. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. The throw comes. They go up. They make the catch. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. And they can't connect. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up... Put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. Second down and 10. And they sack the quarterback. 
Patrick. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks, you don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. Meacham's in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. That ball was going the other way. In on the stop. What a terrible job by the course. Nobody's open. Tries to force the pass and look. What's it turn into? An interception. First down as they head to the line. Play action fake, looking to throw. He's looking long. Kenny Vaccaro reads that one and makes the pick. That's it. This game is over. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Uh, it's always a 